I'm Joaquin Lippincott, uh, the president here at Metal Toad Media. Shifting in my chair. Yeah, don't shift in your chair. Unless you want to look at it, focus. Okay, just based on the blog post, how do you become a blog developer? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. And um, I've been really lucky to, to start web development when I did start web development. Uh, at the time when I started, it was simply a matter of um, raising your hand and saying, yes, I will learn HTML. And since then, the requirements have changed uh, significantly in terms of uh, now it's not just about HTML and, and FTP. Um, it's about uh, you know, back-end programming languages. It's about um, knowledge about mobile devices. Um, it's about uh, your content management system, even going beyond the, the programming language. So uh, um, becoming a web developer, the bar has changed. Um, but there is still a path uh, to, to get there. Unfortunately, that path is not really well documented. Um, and a lot of the curriculum uh, that's out there in terms of when people go to school and they want to graduate and come out and be a web developer or even a web designer, um, a lot of the classes haven't prepared them very well for that. Well, the, the path to becoming a web developer today uh, is, is really familiarizing yourself with something that's a higher level uh, platform. Uh, so I look to Drupal and WordPress as sort of the, the, the core there. Uh, I'm a big proponent of open source. I think that there's a lot of value there for customers. Um, and people are expecting the pricing um, that is being driven by open source. So there's no licensing fee involved in WordPress or Drupal or anything else that's licensed under the GNU license. And as a result, it's pushing out um, some of these proprietary, uh, proprietary closed source systems. And that's happened across the board with content management. Um, and also the requirements for a website or uh, what an executive will expect you know, for a company website. Uh, if you're building something and you're using static HTML now, you're really not being a good advocate for that customer. And a savvy customer is also going to know um, that and expect that there is an integral uh, content management system. I think that I, I have lucked into something that I think a lot of people should know if they're in the web field, um, and in particular for web designers. I think it's important for web designers to see programming as craft, to approach uh, writing code in the same way that they would approach, um, you know, uh, doing a, a, a silk screen, uh, and really not seeing it as a as a uh, you know one of those things you have to do, and you know looking for. Um, things to abstract them from the process of, of creating code and instead embrace it as a, a creative process in and of itself. It, it takes some time and some initiative on one's own part to really uh, get to a point where somebody's going to be a, a marketable uh, web developer. But I want everybody to be able to do that.